So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the DeLonghi Magnifica Evo. Now this is basically an automatic espresso latte cappuccino coffee machine. It grinds the beans for you. Okay, here, let me try to pop that off. You can even select what degree you want. So how uh, fine you want your beans based on coffee or espresso. You know, it, it compacts it, it even cleans itself. So actually all of your old beans from espresso shots go right in this garbage disposal right here. And it even tells you when it's full. It's a nice kind of chrome design all the way around. This is the water compartment. And we're gonna be making three separate coffees today. So I'm gonna be making an espresso, testing it out. We'll be doing a latte macchiato inside of this. And then here we will have our normal coffee. So three drinks, and we're also gonna see how long it takes to make these three drinks with this machine. And I'll kind of walk you through a little bit of the process as we go through, because this is not my first time using one of these. So first thing I wanna point out is you have two attachments here. So this is actually your hot water attachment. You can pop this in at any point, and this will just give you hot water. Okay, so if you just want tea, for example, this will give you instant hot water, pretty straightforward. It just pops out. This other one is interesting because this is actually kept in the fridge and this is milk for your milk froth. So you can actually pull this off the machine when you're done with it and then put it in the fridge and that way you can keep your milk stored and keep it fresh. But I'll show you how that works as well as we go through. But the first drink we're doing actually does not require that. We're gonna be doing a shot of espresso because if we have an espresso maker, we need to get a shot of espresso. So you can see how we can lower this so we don't get splash back, right? So for your smaller espresso cups, look how easy that is to slide. Now at the top here, you can't really see it, but there's three levels of beans to select and that's gonna select how strong you want your coffee done, how strong you want your espresso shot done. So I like to leave it on the two bean option at the top here, I don't like it too strong. We're just gonna click espresso, that's it. Let's let it go. And that's it, our shot of espresso is done. That's how easy it was to make a morning espresso. Look at that. You even have that nice classical foam at the top. Now I'm actually going to put this aside because we're gonna move on to our next drink, which is gonna be a nice fresh coffee. Now the great part about this machine is you can actually as well use ground coffee grinds. So there's actually a slot up here for you to put ground beans into. So if you just want coffee grinds, you have that option as well at the top here. But I'm gonna use the fresh beans and I'm just gonna pour it a little bit down. We're gonna select the coffee option. So that is it, our coffee is done. Now I will say it did look a little watery coming out. It does look pretty nice. So we're gonna put it aside. Uh, you know, again, I only selected the two bean option, so I could have done three beans. And this is almost more like an Americano, I guess, cause it's, it seems more like it's an espresso shot with like, you know, hot water, but we'll get to it. Now this is the interesting one. This is the latte macchiato. So I got the bigger see-through mug here so you guys can see the process being made. Now what you need is you do need this arm here to be in a position where you can get inside the mug just like that. Now, what you can do is you can also select and put in some sort of simple syrups like a vanilla flavoring or hazelnut, something along those lines. But today we're just gonna leave it as is as we have three other coffees to test out. So let's go ahead and get into it and check out our latte macchiato. It's basically just a cappuccino with like more foam, more drink essentially is how I like to think of a macchiato.
And that is it. That is our latte macchiato. And I want to point out how easy it is to pull this off. Ooh, there we go. And then just store this in the fridge for later. So now I have about another, right, two uses at least of extra milk froth. But let's head over to our taste area and we're going to try out our latte macchiato, espresso and coffee and see how they kind of taste compared to either like a store-bought one or something of comparison. So it seems like a pretty good place to do a taste test. So I'm gonna go with our espresso first since this one was kind of uh, a little bit before. So it might be a little cooler, but it was literally only a few minutes ago. Let's try it out. Ooh, so that's strong. Now I would say from like a fancier espresso machine, I don't know if it's quite as creamy. You know how really good espresso is that creaminess? Now, I, I definitely am not a huge like coffee fan uh, in the sense that I like something this strong. So espresso is not for me, but it has a nice taste though. And it's definitely a shot of espresso at the end of the day. So if you like concentrated shots, not, not too bad. Not my favorite though, I'll say, but that's also preference as well. Now, I don't usually drink black coffee, but I feel like that's the only way to do this demo to ensure we talk about uh, how the coffee tastes. So let's give it a try here. Ooh, still super hot as well. So it definitely comes out steaming hot. So be aware of that um, as this should. Let's give this a try. So I almost think I need the third bean setting on because it, it's, it is coffee-ish, but I will say it's not quite strong enough. So it almost tastes a little too watered down. So I think changing that bean setting might give that a preference for me. If you like a super light coffee, it might work. Now these are also espresso beans, so I'm not actually using coffee beans. Well, you know what I mean anyways. So uh, that does make a little bit of a difference, but it's definitely coffee. Again, not my favorite, but nice taste there. Now our last one is our latte macchiato and look how that foam just stayed at the front there. Right, so we have that nice concentrated foam. We have that layer of espresso that's now combined with the milk at the bottom. And now we gotta give this a go. Let's try it out. Ooh, okay. So the creaminess of the milk definitely combines with that espresso shot. And it's pretty good. Now I definitely need some sort of vanilla uh, um, syrup of some sort or hazelnut or just a simple syrup just to give it a little kick of sugar, but it's, Pretty tasty if I'm being honest. This is definitely my winner here. The latte macchiato with the easy to pull off um, froth attachment there is by far the winner with this setup. And man, is it delicious. So that's the DeLonghe Magnifico Evo. What a cool product.